Hey there, how is it going? Back for some more Street Fighter Alpha 2, and uh, I'm going to throw down with Chun-Li one more time. I've tried to play as her twice before, and uh, it would fuck up. Um, let me see, like, if you noticed in... Let me see. Who was the last one that did it? Dan? Um, it did what it did in Dan's video, where... It recorded it up to a point, and then it was like as if I was AFK. Um, I kind of have an idea as on why it does that. But for the time being, I'm like, whatever as well. Um, but that's what it do for the other two times I tried to fight as Chun-Li. So then I was like, you know, whatever. And I just moved on to another character, whoever was next. Um, so, I'm going to give another shot at her. I still need to do her, Bison, and Dan. I think there's like one or two other characters I never got to complete. Well, it didn't record a completion. I did complete the game, however, but it just did not record my playing thing. I'm glad it didn't do it this time. This time it completely finished, and I'm done with it. And even if it would have AFK'd, you know, and it would have been sucky before it cut off or whatever. Because, um, like, in Dan's video, I couldn't go back through and fix it. Uh, with him, it just AFK'd, and I ended up losing, and it took me back around to the start screen, so there's no way to go through and forfeit the match, then, you know, start it back up again. Now, with him, it was pretty much shot. With Bison, I could have gone back through and picked up, you know, where it AFK'd, and, because I wasn't, it wasn't at the point where a game over it and, uh, on the screen or whatever. Although I didn't miss it because, as Bison, I didn't, did so horrible that I was able to fight Shinakuma. Although Shinakuma straight handed my ass to me. Um, I don't know. I can't remember if Bison just straight up fights Shinakuma, or if you had, you had to perform so well that you did fight Shinakuma. If I do recall correctly, you had to fight so well that you fought Shinakuma, but um. I don't know. I, yeah, Bison fought Ryu as his final. That's who came out of nowhere. I was like, nah, Ryu, you fuck out of here. I'm fighting this boy. But, um... I don't know. Maybe that's how it go down, but I doubt it. Not after I read, read that you have to perform so well. I think it was like you had to do perfect for five rounds straight. Like five matches straight. And, uh... Yeah, that's really... I'm not... I'm okay, but... I'm rarely that good. So I guess I must have done superior to my usual enough to get a straight five perfect uh, matches. But I expected better! I did an okay custom combo right there, but... Huh. Dalsim is next! Uh, yeah, this is, uh, cool. So, yeah, I doubt I'm going to see cool Keith tonight. I doubt I'm even having a fucking social life tonight. Um, I tried to call her and be like, hey, you know, are you doing anything? And it just went straight to voicemail. And she replied, oh, I was sleeping, blah, blah, blah. So, you know, I was like, hey, are you doing anything? I haven't heard from her. I mean, I'm not surprised at all, but... Um, I guess I suppose I should just move on already. Oh, ironically, uh, I last set my matches to 321. 321 keeps fucking popping up everywhere for me. It's, it's, uh, quite a, a number for me. My ex's birthday was 321, March 21st. Um... This girl's birthday is March 21st as well, yet a year apart. 
before I even started working there, before I even started talking to her, I knew I was going to take a liking to her. Only because she somehow have characteristics of my ex. Um, and she does. Sometimes it's just like a straight spitting image of her. And I've not told this female that any of that information. I doubt she'll even watch my video to know. You don't have the skill, blah, blah, blah. Oh yeah, anyway, she's going to blow me off. I'm going to sit here, do more work on this stuff, and be a lame-ass motherfucker. So, Akuma is next. And I at least, well, I guess at least I have more time to work on these videos and do more commentary. But it would have been cool to at least spend some time with her. Or, um, go to this uh, cool key show tonight would have been cool. I really need to fucking get out and go to some hip-hop shows again. Last show I went to was DJ Qbert and Kid Koala, and that was pretty badass. I also ran into one of my awesome Twitter followers there. That was pretty cool, too. I mean, I've already met him before. We kind of went on a lunch date, um, but that was quite a while back. Over the summer, and really, I just wasn't into her like that. Not after I met her in person. I mean, she looked all right. She still looks all right, but everything below the neck is kind of throws it off. Stomach bigger, bigger than her titties, doesn't have much of a booty. But she's cool though, she's straight, she's straight, she's cool. I'd chill with her. But like that, I don't know, maybe I'd smash it, but maybe I wouldn't. Maybe if I was drunk enough. What? Cute little Filipino chick, I guess. She's pretty fucking hip hop. I need me a female who's hip hop as me, you know, that's fucking hard to find. So if you're a female hip hop chick, Let's talk business. Yeah, typical, typical cats last night would have been cool. She was out there, so... Posted a video or something up of the live show. That would have been cool. I got a Quasar and Quell on my Facebook friends list. and Those are the homies. And Quasar is a cool motherfucker straight up, too. Oh, and that looks like it's going to be the end of this part of Chun-Li's walkthrough thingy. And off to more... Be pressing lonely time to other videos, and uh, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, check out other videos that are possibly better than this one. Bye.